Welcome to Fine Home Building House, Wisconsin. We are in the middle of framing our new home, and today we'll be focusing on building, raising, and air sealing the tall gable end walls with a small crew. Here's how we got it done. We're taking all of the pre-cut studs with the top plate bevel on them, and I had previously snapped a line for where these studs should line up on the deck. And we're just getting everything laid out so that we can come through with the top plates and nail the wall together, get it squared up before putting our sheathing on. So I'm using the spacer block that I cut that gives me the distance these studs should be between themselves to be 16 on center. So this spacer block is cut to give me this spacing as I go down the wall. Next, we put in blocking between the studs, which provides solid framing behind the joints on the bottom of each sheet of Zip System sheathing. We're standing the sheathing up vertically, so what that's going to do is put us in compliance with the shear wall requirements in the building code. Zip System sheathing functions as an air barrier once you tape the seams. This is great for a few reasons. For the performance for a, a high performance house, this gives you your airtight building shell quickly, as opposed to having to do it with the Tyvek or with a peel and stick membrane. When we complete the whole wall, you'll be able to see that we can do a lot of it while the wall's on the deck. The reason we want to tape it while it's laying down, is you can imagine this wall is almost 18 feet tall, and if it was standing up, with the lower grade outside the foundation to tape this area up here you would be at the top of a, a 20 foot ladder and you would have to run that tape line on your sheathing joint all the way down so the reason we're leaving all of the window openings covered is so that we can tape over them with the zip tape and then that'll make it easier when we do a blower door test to test the performance of the house and the blower door will show us where we have any air leaks. And it's just much easier to do while it's laying on the deck. And after we get the tape, it'll allow us to put the rain screen batten on. Rain screen battens create a drainage gap behind our clabbered siding. And installing them is another process that can go faster while the walls are flat on the deck. The drainage gap helps the durability of the siding and the zip sheathing because any bulk water that gets through the siding or moisture that condenses behind it has a clear path for it to drain down and away. Now that our air sealing and rain screen details are complete, we can get ready to raise the walls. So these jacks are just like the pump jacks you would use for siding a house. As we pump on the handle, this jack will climb up the two by four taking the wall with it. We are using the wall jacks and long 2x4 strong backs to raise the wall. Once raised, the bottom plate is aligned with our layout marks on the deck and nailed down. 2x4 braces are attached to the ends and the middle of the wall for stability and to hold the wall plumb. The process for the other gable wall was relatively similar except we decided to raise the wall in left and right halves due to the high wind in our area and the strain it would put on our small crew. So this space we leave the sheathing off so that we can tie a full 48 inch wide piece from the bottom of this sheet down to our mud sill. And what that'll do is it'll give us a lot of sheer strength by tying this wall into the floor system and locking it together with that zip wall sheathing. And we did that all the way around the house. Uh, by doing that, we're giving all the walls the lockdown into the floor system. So we've got our gable end walls up, which represents a big portion of the exterior wall framing. While we were doing that today, we got our delivery of the trusses. And you can see from the parallel cord cathedral ceiling trusses, how they match the 712 pitch profile of the top of the gables. 
That's because these are going to sit inboard of the gable walls, which is going to help us with those air sealing details. And we'll catch up with you next time on Fine Home Building House, Wisconsin.